Well, to be honest with you, I'm actually kind of scared of what I'm about to do. Um, the wash that I have here shows a few lighter spots of, of uh, a warm, well, actually I guess it's a colder blue. And that's why I plan to use um, cobalt blue with some red sienna. So, I'm kind of scared of doing this, but I'm going to just try it. I'll do it. We'll do it together. And uh, believe me, nobody else will ever see this. But let's see if that seems to be a viable possibility for colors that are used in the distance. And because I am afraid of it, I'm only going to put in a few strokes. And then I'm going to have to sit back and think about it. You know, I'm, I'm doing it here because it's sort of, well, it's towards the edge of the painting. I don't want to test something. in the middle just like when the just like the directions on the can of uh, furniture cleaner don't test it on an obvious spot test it where where it looks like you knew what you were doing <laughs> or at least you can hide the fact that you didn't know what you were doing. Again, these are just little bits of stuff here and there that, you know, little strokes here and there that I'm just trying out. I'm not confident at all. In fact, I don't think I ever used this combination of colors in this way. But there has to be a first time for everything. And seeing as nobody but you, you and I will, will know, um, I'm daring to try it. Okay, that's a small sample. A swatch. I can't tell you how counterintuitive this feels <laughs> to put in a subdued dark mass of trees. in an area that's supposed to be pretty interesting. But I'm taking a guess and just taking a risk. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm just going to have to fix it. I'm just using cobalt blue. I think I mentioned that already. Cobalt blue and some red sienna. I'm trying to make sure that I've got enough variation in color here. I'm 
just being very careful about uh, any high values. I'm trying to keep it somewhat subdued. Um, I will be laying in a few higher value spots later, but I'd rather have the entire area painted in and then pick and choose where I lay in so those, uh, some of those highlight, highlighted areas. Being quite impressionistic here with my strokes. As you can see, I've decided to put in some some rockiness on the shore there. Maybe make it maybe make it a little more interesting, you know. Off to our edge. Got a bit sloppy on that edge, but eh, maybe I won't worry about it. Just kind of removing my ridges as I go here. Slightly, lightly. A couple of areas are looking a little bit overworked. So I better choose carefully what I do with them. So I don't continue to overwork them. Okay. I don't want too many lines, too many dark lines in the distance like this because, because it is a little farther back. See, I've left, I've made it into two dimensions really. You know, here's the foreground landmass. Then there's something 
pushed a little further back there. And that's darker. But uh, this is too important to just make it dark, you know. I really need to have some interest there. And I'm looking at this and thinking, already that's going. I don't like that. Catching a little more light from, you know, catching a little more light here than there was back there. The rocks will catch a little bit of light, not much. But I think that's for later. I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. I'm still, um, I'm not quite settled with this with these trees I'm gonna again sit back and you know I'll sit down for five minutes maybe for 30 seconds a little ways further away from the painting and then I'll get up and I'll put in maybe one maybe two strokes and then I'll sit down maybe for 10 minutes and then come back and maybe put in several strokes or maybe just one and then ignore it for, for an hour come back later and then you know these decisions sort of uh, make the, the good the right decisions become apparent for me after I've given it a bit of a break fresh eyes eh? I always want to come back with fresh eyes we've all heard that well how about a few hits of viridian green mixed with cobalt blue and white and a little bit of a burnt sienna that's putting a little more life into it but still keeping it in the distance i think i'm going to work with that well um i've done away with the idea of, of making this dark it did go against my grain uh intuitively i didn't feel it was right and it didn't work. Now, this is okay now, okay? I've, I've lightened it up. I have used, there is viridian, uh, viridian green in here. Combinations of viridian green and cobalt blue, and combinations of viridian green and burnt sienna, and of course white. In some of the lighter spots, I've even included a little bit of, uh, uh, what is it, viridian green and yellow ochre. This is a fair bit of paint on it now. I, I still want to bring more definition to this distant shore. I'm not going to scrape anything off and redo it. I think I can do that by letting the paint sit for a while and then um, lay in some highlights just, just in, in, in very specific areas to give more definition to certain areas here um, in the trees. That'll allow me to put a little bit of highlighting on some of the rocks that I've laid in. The rocks are ultramarine blue, raw umber, and white. That then gives me permission as well to put a little more light on the water. Not a ton, but I already know that I'm going to put it, be putting in more light here. And I might carry it, I might carry it across a little bit. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But I think in general, we have much more content there and this is just too it's you know yes this is really where the focal area is that may change once i put the sparkle in there but this is still very important i love how this turned out this needs just a little more to it though uh very happy with leaving the, the, the you know the, the distant plane dark that worked well it really helped this tree to pop this tree to pop uh, the sky to pop against these, you know, the, the distant uh, shore there and the distant trees. Uh, so I'm going to play with that. It's very really slow and tentative at this point, really straying away from uh, uh, my earlier intention of having a, a large, more sweeping loose painting. It's okay, I like it. It's coming along just fine. <laughs>